Hi there, give me one second, I'm screwing you into the mount. <laughs> hey there, hi there, ho there, and hello, my name is Michael, welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews. I sincerely hope that I'm being recorded uh, by the earpiece I'm wearing and not uh, the cam microphone on this phone that is probably not handling the job very well. <laughs> if it wasn't entirely obvious, um, this is not a regular episode of the show, and there's, uh, you know, a couple different reasons for that. The first of which is, um, I am sicker than I have been in a minute. I have not had a vague, common cold-like illness like I am experiencing right now uh, in a minute. And I am beyond tired, and if you can't tell by the sound of my voice, very, very congested. I only just barely got my nose to stop running to film this. The second reason is, I don't live where I used to film the show anymore, <laughs> and things have changed. So. Uh, I'm going to take this Friday off to feel better, as well as next Friday to finish making sure the show is upgraded as necessary for um, for continued production. Um, because there's a couple things I'm changing and I want to make sure that they're working out okay. Um, and I'll tell you about those too. But for today, uh, we're going to focus on doing a bar tour. <laughs> show you off the space and... and see how things are going. This is my new uh, kitchen in my apartment, which is where I'll be shooting the show. Uh, I have a new bar top with a table and everything here. Although, not necessarily everything is new like that. While much of my workspace has changed, I did preserve uh, some of the old props. If you look back here, I think I'm, I'm filming on my iPhone, which I don't normally do, so it might be kind of flipped. But over here, on the left side of the stove, is the old tip jar and the uh, uh, the tip jar and the uh, green uh, decanter back there. As well as a bunch of uh, various bottles of fancy Amari and uh, expensive liqueurs. The um, glass bar shelf, uh, the Schroeder brown one, is gone. It was, it was old and needed to be tossed. The uh, actual rack my bottles were on, I still have. I use it for something else, I'll show you in a sec. Um, but this is basically the new, the new backdrop for the set. Um, I have a couple of the other props. I, I had to put all the glassware in front of it in this cabinet, but I have the sign that I'll put up for stuff. <coughs> or maybe I'll use this one board up here, I don't know. This is the new, the, new, the new space for the set though, so we're gonna be doing some fun stuff with that. And let me show you some of the other adjustments I've made. So I mentioned I, I kept some of the other props um, from the set, and they ended up in here, namely the chalkboard sign, but I also have this whole space designated for uh, all of my glassware, or at least all of the glassware I commonly use, although I don't know why I included the Irish coffee mugs and my Sunday glasses in here, um, but I did. It also has a bunch of, like, in a bag, it also has a bunch of, like, miscellaneous, like, infusion stuff and various ingredients. My Demerara sugar's back, or not my Demerara, but my Turbinata sugar's back there, and some tea and malt powder and stuff I never use. I don't know why I own any of that. The actual bar itself, well, the bar top is also what you're going to be seeing. The bar itself also has a selection of shelves along the side here with various, uh, that I've made into various things. Really, I'm showing off cool-looking look, cool bottles or particularly fancy, expensive bottles, and then keeping close by bitters and uh, uh, shelf-stable garnishes like nutmeg and cinnamon and stuff. I also have uh, my Glencairns and some custom whiskey glasses that I don't think I've ever shown on the show before. They have my name on them. These were a gift for my, my roommate for, I think, my birthday, I think? Uh, but... Uh, I'm showing off those and the fancy bottle, the little baby bottle of port I have and my forever bottle and stuff. Found a space for the book over here too. Oh, sorry, the book over here too. I'm not used to filming on a phone. Um, this probably looks horrible. Sorry. Yeah, so basically, I've, I've kind of compressed the total amount of what was in the space to be something uh, smaller because this space is actually a lot smaller than my uh, other apartment was because we downsized by one whole roommate, so we didn't need all that room anymore. There are a couple of other changes that I made, uh, the first of which is actually a backup storage space in a closet that is still not totally set up. Um, I kept one of the shelves I had that was like kind of on the side of the screen and repurposed it for, um, you know, glassware I use less frequently. Um, this is, uh, Goodness, what is this? Uh, Lithium for bar supplies like um, pour tops and measuring cups and uh, things like that. Uh, I have extra bottles of rum that I like down here. Uh, glassware I use less infusion supplies, both there uh, in terms of bottles to store things in and here in terms of mason jars that I actually do infusing in. Everclear, the cookbooks I own, and then also a Dungeons and Dragons book that I haven't used yet. 
I kept it in there because it looked good. And then all this shit that I, all this liqueur I bought that I fucking don't use and don't particularly like any one of them any significant amount. I also kept the old bar, as you can tell. Um, right now it's populated with shit that I need to throw away. But um, I'm using it as like a combo, like workspace to affiliate with all this stuff uh, and then storage for my, my, my precious little kitty who is asleep right now. Uh, as well as a bar top, a backup bar top when I need it. And then, uh, yeah, also, yeah, my, my, my cat's litter box is in here too, because I made use of the space I have. Uh, finally, I mentioned that I'm changing a couple of things about the way the show's filmed, and I wanted to go over those. Um, originally, I was using a single filming wide shot setup using this Canon G15 point and shoot camera. Um, it's fine, it gets the job done, I'm gonna keep using it as a result. The thing is though, uh, I wanna, get away from using this particular camera. It's fine, it's just I don't prefer it, per se. Um, and I actually have a nicer camera. I have this uh, Nikon D3300 DSLR that I was intending to use when I first started the show back up. I think it was either for when I was starting to film um, uh, 25 Drinks of Christmas or if I was starting to film the Pondon Sour video. Uh, I was gonna switch to using this camera and the lens I had on it fell off, or rather, the camera fell off the stand it was on and the lens that was on the front of the camera broke off when it hit the floor. The camera still works fine, surprisingly enough, uh, and I have a replacement lens on it here, but it's a 50 millimeter lens uh, and it it does not have the depth, of, the depth of focus I needed to have. It's very, very tight focus. So I'm gonna use this as a close-up camera, meaning that I'll have both of these cameras here running uh, simultaneously. So I can do close-ups and wide angle at the same time and approximately double the amount of time I'm spending it on this piece of shit MacBook over here editing the show. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, I wanted to share, uh, this is the, <laughs> the new use for the liquor shelf. It used to hold all the bottles on it, and now it is where I keep my uh, PC, uh, PC hard copy games, uh, my Nintendo things, uh, my DVD collections, this is movies, this is I don't know why I'm sharing this with you. <laughs> this is movies, this is TV shows, both of those are DVD. The exception is that I put my Game of Thrones collection there. It's only up through season six because that's all that's worth watching. Blu-rays, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, can you tell which side of the console was I was on? 360, uh, PS4, and then this is stuff for the console I have in this room hooked up as part of my desk setup. Really, the gist of all this is that uh, I wanted to share with you the space I work out of now because I worked hard to put it together and I think it looks pretty good. You no, know, it's kind of weird for me to go radio silent for, not just not necessarily this week, but uh, next week, because <laughs> I like to do the show fucking sometimes twice a week and I haven't done that in a minute. Uh, so believe me, it is weird for me as well. But basically, yeah, that's it. Um, I, I uh, need to go lay down, so. <laughs> I am going to say adieu, go edit this video and then probably pass the fuck out on the couch. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully you guys don't mind me taking, not just today, but next Friday off to work on improving the show and making sure everything comes out correctly. Um, I have the fortunate benefit of this space being newer and nicer, so overhead white light <laughs> is a thing now. I can film the show at any time of day and uh, accomplish what I want to accomplish. Um, hopefully that means that I will be able to produce a show that for you guys is even more enjoyable and even easier to watch. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys enjoy, it, I don't normally really do looks at my own life, the bars I go to, or the way I handle my space. I guess if you like it, let me know. I'll, I'll fucking keep doing it. I guess. <laughs> See you guys next. Uh, no, not next Friday, but the Friday after next with a whole new episode, uh, and it's gonna look fucking awesome so hopefully you guys stick around click that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you'll know when that video comes up even though it's noon on fridays every single goddamn week and uh yeah i will see you later <sighs> wow i'm tired <laughs> this took just i've been doing this for 11 this is an 11 minute clip that i've been doing this all in one take and uh i'm i'm wiped out because of that holy shit i I hate, I hate this, I hate being sick. Wow, this blows.